the Apple event on September 12th unveiled the new iPhone 15 lineup to the whole world, and here are all the features you need to be excited about. This year's lineup showcases four iPhone, iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Plus, the iPhone 15 Pro, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The base two iPhones, the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Plus, showcases in five new colors, whereas the iPhone Pro and the Pro Max showcases in four new colors. Here are them below. Let's talk about the build and design of the iPhones this year. All the iPhones this year have the dynamic eye band and the Pro models have the one of the best thinnest bezels you have ever seen. For the first time since iPhone 11, the iPhones are having curved editors. Now this is more practical given that our hand grip object in a round shape. The sign and switch from the previous iPhones have been upgraded to a new button. This new button is known as the action button which can be customized to perform various actions from turning on the torch. Initially, I was a bit skeptical about the action button as I thought that triple tapping the power button would be a much better alternative for performing the same action. But one place where it really stands out above rest is the camera app where it can act as a shutter button for shooting pictures as your fingers directly lie on top of the button are made with super light aluminum. Whereas the Pro models are made with space grade titanium, the same material that is used in spacecraft, supposedly making your iPhone much durable and also much lighter. The single biggest major change this year would be that the iPhones would be using USB Type. Let's talk about the cameras, which have been significantly upgraded from last year. It's not only about the new ultra wide cameras that lets in more light or the new coating in these cameras that helps reduce the amount of lens flares but about the entire software and hardware that functions brilliantly together. For starters, the iPhone 15 Pro have 24 megapixels short which doesn't sound very impressive thinking that the latest Samsung can do up to 200 megapixel shots but the fact that the iPhone can do this 24 megapixels by default in auto mode is very impressive using a more storage efficient ATIF file format which is much similar in image quality to JPEG images. This year the photonic engine a uh, engine that uses multi-year processing in order to make, produce better colors can now be accessed across all roads. Live photos can be saved as videos after it has been clicked. Portrait effects can be added even after when the photo is clicked and even the subject in focus can be changed. HDR in photos is Apple's historical running weaknesses. They have significantly improved this year. The base iPhone has 2x telephoto and the Pro has 3x while the Pro Max has 5x. If you have not made this far in the video, a sub to the channel would be up to the audible. Let's talk about the performance this year. The base model of the iPhone will feature the S6 Bionic chip from last year's Pro model, while this year's Pro model would feature the world's first 3 nanometer chip. The lower the number, the better, and the more power efficient it is. The new A17 chip is about 10 times faster, and the graphics score is up by 20% from last year, which is sonic and in a way with surreal because it's approaching the power of the M2 powered MacBook. It can run any game at ultra settings like Tension Impact. What's crazy is that it can even run console games such as Resident Evil and Assassin's Creed Mirage at 720p rather than the 900p which the PlayStation 4 runs the games at. When the iPhone supporting HDR at a much higher brightness range, picking out at 2000 days. The iPhone 15 Pro models this year support ray tracing, which is a pivotal advancement, making them the first iPhone to support hardware-based ray tracing that simulates almost real-life mechanical connections, which enable devices to offer more visually captivating and absorbing graphical experiences. Finally, let's talk about the prices of the iPhones. The iPhone 15 would be priced around 799 USD, that is 79900 INR. The iPhone 15 Plus would be around 899 USD, that is around 89900 INR. 
the iPhone 15 Pro would be around 999 USD, that is 134,900 INR, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max would be around 1,199 USD, and around 159,900 INR. Thanks for watching, that's all for it today, and I will catch you in the next one.